Donato's. That's outrageous. You expect me to believe that? It's the truth. Do you think I don't know what you're trying to do? To set the record straight? Wrong. You're trying to clear your conscience about the mess you made of your granddaughter's life. I fail to see. You're what... putting your own neck in the noose so she can get her lover back. I assure you that... Mr. This... Alden, I don't care how much guilt you've got about breaking up your granddaughter and her boyfriend. I'm the district attorney, and I'm only interested in the truth. You've got a hell of a nerve coming in here and wasting the state's time with this kind of Eat garbage. Up, Mr. The district hell attorney. I will. It took a lot of the taxpayer's time and money to indict the right person. We know who killed Nick Donatos. Steve Sawalski. Mr. Press. Sorry, Mr. Alden, but that kid's in too deep for you to get him out. And don't you even think about trying to pull any strings. It won't work this time. Now you listen. Save your breath. The idea that you killed Nick Donatos just won't wash. Not now. Not in a million years. I fully anticipated your skepticism, Mr. Prescott. Not skepticism, Mr. Alden. Disbelief. Mr. Alden, I'm afraid I have to agree with the district attorney. This looks like a last-ditch effort to save the Sawalski kid. Do you think I'd come here if I couldn't prove that I killed Nick DeMatos? Well, if that's the case, I'd like to see you do it. Fine. is the gun with which I killed him. What the hell do you think you're doing? For the last time, Mr. Prescott, this is not a desperate effort to save my granddaughter's boyfriend. Yours. I used it to kill Nick Donato's. Get this down to ballistics right away. Lieutenant, I believe I should call my lawyer now. Yes. And I suggest, Lieutenant, that you read Mr. Alden his rights. Mr. Alden, you have the right to remain silent. You have the right to consult an attorney of your choice before you answer any questions. Should you choose to answer any questions, however, your answers can and may be dependent. Especially after the whole affair, it was my responsibility from beginning to end. I, I just can't imagine you going to the casino intending... Well, my intentions were not so drastic when I walked in there. Well, then why were you there, sir? I went for the same reason you did, Steve. To get Trisha out of there and away from Nick Donato's by whatever means were necessary. It was the least I could do after the nightmare I put you through, Trisha. I don't know if I can ever compensate you completely. Or if you can find it in your hearts to forgive either of you. But I am grateful that I had a chance to set things right and do it personally. And now maybe you can get on with your lives. I know there are a few obstacles remaining. Oh, Grandfather. But... What about you? What's going to happen to oh, you? Father knows exactly what he's doing. Oh, he can't. If he really even did it. He couldn't have. Well, the police said that the gun that he brought in was the one that fired the shot. Daddy, that doesn't mean he pulled the trigger. I wonder what they're talking about right now. 
Well, they're probably trying to set bail. <sighs> Sweetheart, we're going to get in the finest lawyers we can. Yeah, but if he pleads guilty and hey, sticks hey, by his confession... Listen to me. Let's cross that bridge when we come to it, okay? Very well. Bail has been set at the amount agreed upon. The defendant is remanded to the custody of his attorney. I understand, Your Honor. But I assure you, Cabot Alden isn't going anywhere. I should think not. Hearing is adjourned. <clears throat> A few papers to sign, Cabot. No big complications. At least, not yet. Any comments, Mr. Alden? No, none whatever, and there will be none. So I suggest, ladies and gentlemen, that you refrain from... Are you going to waive a grand jury hearing? I said no comment. How do you feel, Mr. Sawalski? Well, I'm very sorry about what's happened. What are your plans? Plans? Oh, come on, everybody in Corinth knows you two are an item. What do you say, Steve? Are you filing for divorce? That's none of your business. Come on, kids, let's go on out. Well, of course, that depends on you, doesn't it, Mr. Prescott? What? Doesn't Steve Sawalski still have some charges hanging over him? That depends. On what? Mrs. Sawalski. She's the one who filed the original complaint. If she's willing to push that complaint again, my office may act on it. Whatever the circumstance, I can assure you, I will see that justice is done. <laughs> go free and that's a promise from every one of us here incredible if I ever saw a full and complete confession here it is last man in the world you'd suspect right bigger story than Steve Sawalski even in terms of sensationalism media coverage if you get a conviction if I assume you're talking about murder one of course. Won't be easy. Cabot Alden may have admitted to pulling the trigger, but where's your premeditation? He didn't even have a weapon on him when he went to the casino that night. Also, you happen to be dealing with a man who has a whole lot of prestige in this community. Let's face it, the judge was almost apologetic when he set bail. All right, all right, it'll be tough to get past his reputation. Would you accept a plea bargain? Maybe down to manslaughter? Listen, Lieutenant, I know you've been studying law at night, but let me tell you something about premeditation. You don't have to prove that the defendant did a lot of advanced planning. All you have to show is malice of forethought. And the aforethought can be over a span of five minutes, even 30 seconds. Besides, how do we know Cabot Alden was telling the truth about the gun, about his intentions, about what happened just before he pulled the trigger? His word against Nick Donatus. And Nick Donatus is dead. It'll be some trial, Art. But I don't think murder one is stretching things one single bit. Tonight at nine, eight Central and Mountain, Adam's hopeless struggle and Crystal's desperate search turn up startling results on Dynasty. Then the head count turns up one too many inmates. And it's life turned inside out in a place they call Mariah. Tonight. This is Joan London. And Charles Gibson. Tomorrow morning, how to pay for your child's college education. Also Kate Capshaw, Charlie Sheen, and Irene Cara. And we'll take you to the circus. Tomorrow on Good Morning America. Coming up, Julie's in a panic when Ellen finds her diary. Stay tuned for All My Children, next on ABC.
Wednesday. Someone? Got a minute, Lieutenant? The Holden case? You don't think murder one is supportable, even with Cabot Alden's confession in hand. But I do. And let me tell you something, Lieutenant. This case is very important to me, personally and professionally. And I am going for it. Come hell or high... Given the evidence we have, I still don't see murder one. We have Cabot Alden's confession, obtained legally and voluntarily. Right. Then we have the ballistics report, which establishes that the weapon Mr. Alden surrendered is the one that killed Nick Donato. What we don't have is premeditation. And since Cabot Alden didn't tell anybody what was on his mind the night he went to the casino, and since nobody else witnessed the shooting... His defense will be that Donatos attacked him or there was some other provocation. He told us that Donatos taunted him, told him everything he did to his granddaughter, goaded him on. That's Alden's word against ours. His word carries a hell of a lot of weight in this community. Except he has a history of taking matters into his own hands. He tried to manage his granddaughter's life pulled strings to get Sawalski out of prison. This is a man who thinks he is above the law. Are you making your summation to the jury, Mr. Prescott? Not quite. Before this murder case even comes to trial, I'll need to get the public itself to doubt Alden's integrity. How do you manage that? By prosecuting Sawalski on that original rape charge. And in the process, reminding the public that Cabot Alden tried to block justice by getting that retrial prevented. You are opening a can of worms. You went along with Alden on that deal. Prove it. I am on record as saying that a crowded court calendar prevented me from pushing for a retrial. And then when Sawalski marries the lady he allegedly raped, come on, it would be ludicrous to try and prosecute. But it's okay to prosecute the kid now. Well, the situation's changed. He walked out on Cecilia. I could make a case that the only reason he married her was to get that rape charge off his back. You don't believe that. We're talking about perceptions here, Lieutenant. That's all that really matters. You know what I perceive? I perceive a district attorney who is so anxious to get out of the heat. He'll take a murder one conviction no matter who gets squashed in the process. You better watch yourself, Art. That's a pretty serious allegation. You know what else? It stinks. Leave the Sawalski kid alone. He's already had enough garbage thrown at him. There's no room for sentiment here, Lieutenant. I intend to press for a charge of first-degree murder against Cabot Alden. And if that means showing the public what kind of man he is by first retrying Sawalski, then so be it. But it all depends on Cecilia Sawalski now, doesn't it? I got what I was No, of course not. I just... Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Prescott. Come in. Thank you. Your husband home? No, I'm afraid not. Somehow, I didn't think he would be. Actually, Cecilia... May I call you Cecilia? Of course. It's you that I need to speak to. What about? You promised me an answer, remember? As you know, there are still charges pending against your husband. Now, the more time that goes by, the less chance I'll have to bring him up for a retrial. Mr. Prescott, If you're I... hesitating out of some misguided sense of loyalty, <laughs> the man deserted you for another woman. He obviously has no concern for your feelings. Why should you worry about his? Mr. Prescott, I... You're a fine young woman, Cecilia. And here's a man who wants to throw away both you and your marriage in spite of all your efforts to hold everything together. You did try, didn't you? Yes, I tried. Are you really going to let him get away with it? Mr. Prescott, I don't know what you want me to do. First, I need a statement from you reinstating the original rape complaint. And Judge Benson knows you only recanted your former testimony out of the goodness of your heart. You wanted to give Steve a second chance. You were planning to be married. 
But he'll say that I was lying either then or now. I think I can guarantee you immunity from prosecution for perjury if that's what you're worried about. Now, what do you say? Do we press on? I, I don't know. Don't you realize Steve took advantage of you from the word go? The only reason he married you when he got out of prison was to protect himself from retrial. No. You think about it. As soon as Trisha Alden became available, he had no compunction about dropping you and rushing into her arms. Cecilia, this is your chance to get back at all of them. Show the Aldens they're not above the law. By throwing Steve back in prison? I admit I'm destroyed by him wanting a divorce. And I certainly don't want to give him up. But do I want to ruin his life? He did it to you without batting an eye. Does he really deserve your compassion? Cecilia, Steve really used you. Now you have the opportunity to see that he pays for everything he's done. But if that's you, please, just leave me alone, okay? It's me, Cecilia, Peter Prescott. I'm sorry, Mr. Prescott. No, I'm sorry. I need an answer. What do you want to do about reinstating the charges against Steve? Are you all right? I'm pregnant, Mr. Prescott. Are you sure? With Steve's child? Of course I'm sure, and of course it's Steve's child. What kind of a woman do you think I am? Didn't mean to imply. Well, this changes the situation considerably. I certainly don't want to go up before a judge and argue to reinstate the rape complaint now that you've gone and gotten yourself pregnant by the man you're accusing. You understand what I'm saying, Cecilia? I think at this point, you'll just have to handle things with Steve on your own. I just can't help you in any way.